we're going to talk a little bit about genre. Genre is a way of categorizing things that are alike. We have genre with film. So we have scary movies, we have kid-friendly movies, we have action movies, we have comedies that make us laugh. We also have genre in music, so we have hip-hop and rap, we have country music, we have rock and roll, we have classical music. And those are all ways of categorizing music, or in the earlier example, films that have something in common. And we also have genre with books. So you're probably familiar, when you were much younger, you learned that there's fiction and nonfiction. Nonfiction would be um, a book that is based in reality and that is factual. It's based off of something that actually happened um, and it's, it's purely factual. There's nothing made up in it. Fiction would be a work that is either not factual or not based in reality in some level. We have historical fiction, which would be fiction that's based in a certain time period. Um, but that the characters are made up or aspects of things that happen would be made up. We also have uh, modern fiction. So anytime you're reading a story about a boy or a girl in middle school, but it's the characters are made up and the school's made up, then that would be realistic, but it's still not factual. And we also have one of the, probably my students' most favorite genres, fantasy. Now, we don't normally start off the school year with fantasy, but that's something we're doing this year. And so I want to talk about elements of fantasy. Elements would be um, items that make something up. So what makes up a fantasy genre book? What do fantasy novels have in common that make them separate from the other types of genres of books, such as historical fiction or modern realistic fiction? So one thing that most fantasy books have in common Mythical creatures. So mythical creatures, things that don't exist in our world. That could be witches and wizards. That could be dragons. That could be magical elves. That could be knights and princesses and queens fighting um, in a world that contains other mythical creatures. Um, it can be demigods, so if you read uh, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief in fourth grade, that would also be a fantasy text, so it can have gods and goddesses, things like that. So mythical creatures, things that don't exist in our world. And speaking of our world, um, fantasy texts often either take place or they transport the reader to um, not that older, other worlds. So maybe our characters travel through a portal. Maybe they start off in, in our world and they travel to another world. Or maybe the whole story takes place in a different world than ours. And so other worlds. Fantasy takes place. Think about fantasy. If, if I said stop, stop, um, uh, stop fantasizing, then that means to get out of your imagination. So in your imagination is a different place. So think about other worlds. They're worlds that people have dreamed up that don't actually exist. Maybe those other worlds come from legends that have been passed down through many generations, or maybe the author just simply made them up. So um, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, that would be, um, that took place in another world, and it took place with the mythology, mythical creatures, the mythology that had been passed down from ancient Greece. Whereas J.K. Rowling, when she created Harry Potter, she made up the whole world of Hogwarts. So that was something that she made up. But those are both fantasy texts, Harry Potter and the Percy Jackson series. Um, another thing that fantasy tends to have is magic. So you might have magical potions. You might have spells. You might have prophecies that come true. You might have um, special objects that have special powers. And so magic is a big part of the fantasy genre. So think about Percy Jackson with the sword. Think about Harry Potter with his wand and the broom. Um, think about um, any time you're reading where there's some kind of special thing that just doesn't exist in our world, then it's probably fantasy. Um, another thing, think about our characters in fantasy. Our characters usually go on a quest. So, oh, my orange isn't working. Let's see. Try it red. They usually go on a quest. 
a specific journey, and it's usually connected to that other world. Um, so it could be a group of people, like we're going to experience with the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. It could just be one person in particular. They may come in from our world and travel to that other world, or like I said, the story may completely take place in the other world. So let's review. We have mythical creatures. We have other worlds. We have magic. We have people going on a quest. And then last but not least, and this is probably the most important. I'm going to make a little star here. All of these things are things that take place in other worlds, or, or that don't take place in our world. They don't take place in reality. So the way I know I'm reading fantasy, the rules of our world do not apply. So time travel, going back in time, going to the future, uh, traveling to other worlds, magic, mythical creatures. If I'm reading fantasy, then the rules of our world of reality will not apply in the setting of our fantasy novel. And so we're going to see that as we read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. You'll also see that we're going to read a selection from Alice in Wonderland. And then as you're reading your own fantasy novel, think about what, which things take place in that novel that couldn't happen in our world. And that lets you know you're in a fantasy novel. We're going to have other genres we're going to read. We're going to read historical fiction. We're going to read fiction that takes place in our world today as the year goes on. But we're starting off with fantasy. So you want to try to get your hands on a fantasy novel that you enjoy. Maybe you enjoy The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Maybe you've always wanted to read Harry Potter or you want to reread it again. Maybe you want to read Percy Jackson. Maybe you want to find something else. A Wrinkle in Time was popular a few years ago. Um, Tuck Everlasting. These are all stories that have these elements that let us know we're reading a fantasy novel. And that's it for now.